Good day and welcome to our YouTube channel, right? So on this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze Nasdaq on a live session, right? So basically what happens is, remember, the strategy always applies. You have to always respect the rules. Each and every strategy has rules. Each and every strategy has principles, right? So in order for you to be safe, you have to respect and always use the rules that you have on your strategy right so basically what we do is firstly we have to switch to 15 minute time frame right right now it's currently um three o'clock right in the afternoon right that is south african time so uh, firstly we have to do what we have to look for the highest candle and the lowest candle at the new york session right so looking at today's um scenario is this is our highest candle right and this will be our lowest candle okay because this one is the one that is above um, all of those candles and this one is the one that is below all of this candle of today right we only analyze what's happening today now what you do is after you found the highest candle you draw your line there all right we'll draw our horizontal line there okay and then secondly we draw our horizontal line below this candle right fine now we have our two levels right let me change the color of this one let me change the color of this one let's make it black because they are not the same right so um the red color we will use it as our what as our resistance level this is very nice very simple this will be our resistance level right put it there we have a new resistance level now this will be our resistance level okay and then below will be our what yes you guessed it right our support level now we have to insert the support level right there it's very simple to analyze this will be our support level let me use the black color because the support level is black and the resistance is red right so this is our two levels this remember this is still on a 15 minute time frame right we just have our highest candle our lowest candle right the highest candle we use it as the resistance level the lowest candle we use it as the support level remember this is still on a new york session we only trade this on a new york session right so basically what happens is after we find the highest level and the lowest level we just switch to one hour time frame okay so on one hour time frame we use it in order to see where our take profit will be at remember always use a higher time frame to look for take profit and also your stop loss okay and also look use higher time frame for a breakout right so when we switch to one hour time frame this is our scenario now we have the, the resistance level and then the support level right so only on one hour time frame we look for a breakout just one one hour candle to close below or above our expected level okay so if one hour candle closes below this support level that is when we'll have an entry of a sell okay and then secondly if the market breaks um above let me just fix my spelling there sorry about this sorry about this um let me write it right correctly this is level right the excitement will make you to forget even just small things you know um okay right if the market doesn't break below the support level simply means the buyers are very strong at this level right the buyers are holding this mar the market at this level are very strong so if the market or the demand zone is very strong the market will go up to this level right if now the suppliers or the resistance level is very weak the market will break above so we just need just one hour candle to break above this level then we buy okay if just one hour candle closes above our expected level then we do what we'll have our buy entry okay very simple very simple scenario if one hour candle comes if the market comes in a bearish movement and breaks below our support level 
then we will be looking forward for sale opportunities. We just need one hour candle to break above or below our expected level. So if the market breaks below here, the candle of one hour closes below, we will have our, what? our sell entry. Okay? But if the market goes to retest the resistance level and then one hour candle breaks above the resistance level, we will do what? We will have our buy entry. We just need one hour candle to break above or break below. Secondly, for entry levels, yes, you can wait for a pullback. Right? It's either you enter at the breakout or you wait for the market to go up, break above, and then come to retest and then go on an, on an upper side right or secondly if the market breaks below you can wait for the market to have a pullback and then you can enter after the pullback so there are two two ways to enter the breakout it's either you enter after the breakout or you enter after the retracement or the pullback right so let's look into 